Okay, hi guys. It's me again. Um, I told you I'd, on my way out I'd probably stop and and show you um, the hole in the rock. So, there it is. See all these people up? Um, it's fun to go up there. Uh, nice and cool standing right where the hole is because you get this gust and breeze that comes through there. And, it's a wonderful place to go up and watch a sunset. Um, we've had a lot of parties up there, <laughs> as you can imagine. But then, you know, as the times have changed, the police, they just, they just take away all the wonderful places, right? And this place used to be a pretty remote area, you know. It used to be a lot more vegetation and it's a lot more na nature, natural and nature, just growing wild. So some of that, that authentic natural beauty is gone because now it's been invaded by people. <laughs> and this was a great place to grow up. And this park and the surrounding ones, there's a couple of them. There's the Papago Buttes area, there's the Papago Park area, there's the golf course over there, and the golf course over there, and the zoo there, and the river bottom over there. All these are still governmentally, governmental property and they're protected. But, um, this is pretty good. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's got a cute boyfriend. <laughs> um, these were my stomping grounds, as you can imagine. And if you've watched any of my earlier videos, I'm going to do a video on it about all of these videos to bring you guys all up to, uh, up to rest. You know, I did a, in my earlier videos, I don't know if you've watched them, many of you maybe have, but in my very, very early ones, in my trans discoveries, uh, when I identified or thought I was a homosexual, but the whole time I'm a transsexual. And these were my testing grounds. Um, these were some of my first exposures uh, to men and self-discoveries of my own. So these were my testing grounds. And what a testing ground I had. Because this is a very um, well-known place for, for those kinds of activities. Anyway, we'll get in more depth into that in other videos that I'll uh, record from my place. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shut down for the day, and I'll just catch up with you guys all later. I thought that would be that last video, but I remembered I'd, I'd tell you about the whole rock. I don't know if you can see the people on top too. You can go. There's another hole that looks down from the top to that cave, into that cave that you're looking at the people. So if you're not careful, it's right where that little dip is. If you're walking up there, if you look away and keep walking, you're going to fall <laughs> through that hole. And that could kill you. It's a long fall. But there's a hole that looks up to the sky straight up from where those people are in the, inside that cave. They can look up and there's a hole up the top of that mountain. And just a little history, all these mountains here, uh, are from volcanic rock and mostly mudslides. This was all underwater uh, a lot of years ago. So, uh, pretty historic area. On the other side is a place, Botanical Gardens, where it's, um, they have all the desert vegetation and they preserve it. It's a preserve area. It's wonderful. Um, I spent many nights out there partying and uh, when I didn't want to go home, stuff out in the desert. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.